Thank you, Bethel Academy. Welcome to STEM ADU Studios, STEM in Education, CR in Space, Principles of Engineering. I'm Mr. Johnson. Today we're going to talk about our C Lab 1.2 project, and it's based on our C port, which is located in the center of the sea. And this C port is called C Trapolis. It's equipped to have its own biosphere, to grow its own food, to turn seawater into drinking water. It has a scientific All right, now let's talk about our underwater robot. Our underwater robot, let's think technologically. Technologically, our input system involves this integrated circuit. I'll hold it up for you. This integrated circuit is consists of a microprocessor. It has resistors, diodes, capacitors to actually control and operate the underwater robot. I'm going to use the control system, the input device, to make the robot go forward. Let's make the underwater robot travel forward. You can make it travel backwards. And also we can allow the underwater robot to submerge. Now how is energy being transferred from this input device to the motor? That system we call our process. The process allows our input to actually carry energy to our output. Electricity and water doesn't work well together. It can be dangerous. The electrical wires connected to the motors and the underwater robot those wires must be waterproof before you place them in water. If not, it, it wouldn't operate and wouldn't be safe to use. The motors are part of our output system. Our feedback system, we have a camera. We have a camera located on the front of our robot. And this monitor we have in front, this yellow monitor, actually displays everything we need to see. Making sure that we don't run into any ice or coral reefs so that it'd be safe to travel through any type of a sea environment. Thinking mathematically, our underwater robot has a density of 1. It has a mass of 2,526.96 grams and volume equals 2,526.96 milliliters, which equals density of one. This is why our underwater robot does float on the surface of the water. To calculate the amount of force acting on the underwater robot, we can use our force buoyancy equation, which is density times gravity times volume. Let's try that on the board. Force buoyancy of our underwater robot, the density is one. Gravitational force, 9.8 times our volume, again, for our volume, we have to turn milliliters into liters because we're dealing with meters. To change milliliters to liters, we move the decimal point three places to the left. We 2.5296 points buoyancy. It's a force acting on the underwater robot while it's at rest in water.